Hi, I'm Mal, and welcome to another episode of Mini Model Makes. First of all, I'm going to start off with an apology. I'm sorry I've not done a video in quite a while. Obviously, we're in the middle of lockdown again, or our third period of lockdown now, our second big lockdown, as it were. I work in the NHS, and I'm just overloaded with work at the minute, and I come home, and I'm tired, and I've not had much time for hobby or anything, really. So I apologise, videos have been sort of really down on my list of priorities. However, I've got a few days off, so I thought I'd try and get a couple of videos done for you now and up and running for the new year. Secondly, I'm just gonna do a quick shout out to David Brains at the 30K channel. He's given me some free stickers, which are nicely on my cabinet and above my head there. For his 30k channel, he's just given me a couple of free stickers. Uh, he put a shout out on Facebook and said, can I have some? I'll stick them behind my head somewhere for my video so you'll get a bit of free advertising, which he was kind enough to do, which is nice of him. So thanks, David, if you ever watch one of these videos. Nothing compared to your channel, but hey. All I can suggest, guys, if you've not seen the 30k channel, look them up on YouTube, and also he's got his own channel on where you can go online at 30kchannel.com, I believe, and watch games of Horus Heresy. I've even appeared on one, which was brilliant. It was a, a massive thing for me. I really enjoyed my time there. Loads of amazing content. He really is a master of putting together gaming tables as well. It's worth it just to watch him do that sort of thing alone so anyway cheers david stickers are up there thank you very much pride of place on in my hobby cabinets so moving on now today is going to be a bit of an unboxing i've been slowly cracking through my shelf of shame and getting a few items off it and out the way so i can do some imperial guard things i've got some krieg models that i want to do and i want to do a series of videos on for the channel so for this one i have an unboxing of the see i'm that excited i've already got some of the wrap off it the lehman or layman or lemon depending on how northern you are or where in the world you are lemon russ battle tank for the imperial guard i've not opened one of these in a lifetime so it's going to be interesting to see how much they've changed I've been in the hobby a long, long time. I've probably not put one of these uh, battle tanks together for around 20 years. So it'll be interesting to see how the sprues have changed. What I also have, as well as this one, I have reaching down here, the Forge World Death Core of Krieg Mars Alpha Lemon Russ as well, the Vanquisher. I will open this up on camera as well and show you the extras or, or what else, what's the difference in the kits. Really beautiful kit, I think, when I got this on Forge World. I bought it a few months back, ready for this day. So I'll open this up too and we'll run through them. Okay. So, without much further ado, let's get that overhead camera set up and we can go into a nice unboxing for everybody at home. See you shortly. This is the Imperial Guard, or sorry, Astra Militarum Lehman Russ Battle Tank from Games Workshop for the Warhammer 40,000 range. I'll rip all this cellophane off. So, this is the MBT or main battle tank for the Astra Militarum. Not open one of these in a lifetime, so gonna be interesting what the sprues look like these days there used to be lots of sort of extras they were very realistic the original the tank kits so it's gonna be nice how different they are now so we have that's our box uh, the artwork on the back with the options for the weapons and what paints games workshop used there which is quite cool that's it really just goes through the different uh, type the exterminator the vanquisher vanquisher battle cannon and the eradicator sorry got lost there a little bit and there we are the different sponsons they look like cadian tanks to me nothing else in there we have some transfers 
the different main guard regiments there, Ramagadam, Valhalla, Katachan, Kadia, Talan, Mordi, all the, all the usual suspects, different stars, sickles, army and company markings and things there, command tanks, that's quite nice. Look forward to maybe using those with Krieg because you can't get any Krieg transfers anymore because they're like rocking horse pee. We've got one set of instructions which goes through the main battle tank, the exterminator, the vanquisher and the eradicator. Pretty straightforward, these instructions have been around a long, long time. This tank's been around a long, long time. So you go through everything there, and then at the back you have some rules. Now, I don't know whether these are the current edition's rules or not. I don't think they are, so I won't run through them. But you do have, I'm sure they will have the new version of the rules now in these box sets. So we have two frames, that is it. Used to be more. We have our main frame with the chassis tracks, the smoke launchers there. Now I thought they'd actually move to having the tracks on the actual tanks themselves so you didn't have to muck about putting on the, the tracks onto them but that's not true with this kit. I don't know if that's a recent thing. As I say, I've had this kit a good few months so I'm not sure. You've got your little handles and other bits and pieces on there. That's pretty straightforward, the front sponsor of the tank. Not much on there really. Here we have the main frame with the, the main chassis of the tank on there, the turret. The turret's a lot different to what it used to be. That's more a one piece thing now than it used, used to be years ago. You have a tank commander on there now. You've got your different barrel options there, the exhausts. They used to have little extra armour plating and things, a little sprue of bits and pieces like that that they don't have anymore, which is a shame, because it'd be nice to have the track guards and things on the tank. Here you've got your sponson weapons, you've got the multi-melters, the uh, plasma cannons, flamers, heavy bolters. I'm trying to find where the las cannon, oh, there's, oh, las cannon for the front there because you can't have last cannon sponsons. So two frames really, that's that's it now it's been put you know brought down to two frames. Makes it easy I suppose. You've got all your different options there. I'll probably be making a main battle tank out of this, the normal regular variant, without the side sponsons because the side sponsons kind of ruin the aesthetic of the tank, in my opinion anyway. That's it. So you frame, very underwhelmed by that. I thought there'd be more bits and pieces. I thought the tank commander maybe would be his own frame. I'm trying to find where there's a heavy stub. You know, there's no Hellstrike missile anymore that I can see. Because you used to get the, the old one shot missile with a, a launcher for it. Hunter killer, fire and forget missile. The. Yeah, I can't see the heavy stub. I thought, you know, we'd have a coaxial heavy stubber to blat away with. Might be my eyes, but I can't see one on the frames. If, I'll probably find it later, but hey, leave a message in the comments for the video and tell me where it is. There's a searchlight, but no stubber. Hey ho. So that's the bog standard straight from Games Workshop variant the chaps. Very quickly run through that one. And I'm just packing that away. Now we are going to unbox the Forge World variant, which is the Death Core of Krieg, Mars Alpha, Lemon Russ Vanquisher. Now this I've had for quite a while as well. Hopefully they still do. Please, please do Forge World because Death Core's amazing. Now we're having some fun. Right, so 
no transfers with this one. Shame on you, Forge Road, because you don't do the death code ones anymore. So we get an instruction sheet with the instructions for the resin bits of the tank. So you've got the trench rails for the back of the tank and the filter and exhaust stuff because it's death core, you know, they lock up the tanks and live in there basically. You've then got your turret with a coaxial heavy stubber and look at that beast of a vanquisher cannon, doesn't it look amazing? Really, really brilliant. And the hull itself, you've got a whole heavy bolter, different to the kit because it's got its own protective bag there for it. Commander, heavy stubber, yeah. So looking good. That just shows you the extra pieces you get with this kit. Nothing out of the ordinary on there really. All the different bits and pieces. So same as before, main body sprue looks exactly the same to me with the commander on and you get the tracks again floor of the tank nothing different on that one either exactly the same now you do get this now this is what i was expecting in the other kit i don't know why they don't do it anymore you've got dozer blade you've got track guards you've got your heavy stubber there it is. You've got tank commanders, which I'm not going to. I'm going to use the death core ones. You've got bags of kit, oil barrels, good old entrenching tool, death core or creek. That's going to have to be on there somewhere. The radio kit or extra comms equipment for a command tank. Uh, ammo crates, storm bolter. There's your. Hunter killer missile, pickaxe, you know, brilliant, brilliant frame, why are you not with the main battle tank plastic frame, why not, should be, should be, anyway, here it is, got some bits on there, might be able to split it between the two tanks I've got, which would be cool, don't think I'm going to have a dozer blade on it anyway, it's, I might put the heavy stubber on the other tank but there we go that's what we're looking for feedback games workshop should some uh, one from there who can make decisions put this back in the kit <laughs> if anybody who can make a command decision in games workshop ever watches this video hi never thought you'd be watching it okay two so bags of forge worldy goodness now with this so you actually have main body part for the tank so you don't need to use the plastic one for this uh, don't know if there's much difference probably the back will be the attachments for the filtration equipment and things that the death core of Creed use let's run it side by side sorry there's lots of me reaching round to the side and bringing comparisons out so, in comparison, it's actually longer. It's more of a beast of a tank by the looks of it. If you look, the, the attachment for the treads and everything are going to be the same, but there's that much extra tank. It's just so much beefier. Amazing. Turret. Mainly all in one piece, has its little creaky breathing filters and things on there. Extra lenses and things. Quite a nice cast, to be fair. Well done, Forge Well, for this one. I'll need to give it a wash, of course, before I build this. I don't know when I'm going to build this, to be fair. I'm going to practice on the plastic tank I've got first. And a little bag which has all that extra bit. So good old heavy stubber, turret rings there, hatches. They'll go on top of our tank, off to the side. We've got a commander. You can have his arms, 
to hold on to the heavy stubber or he has binos and the good old imperial hand up let's move forwards so quite a nice Kriegsman there very cool this is the extra filtration gear and a nice Aquila for the back of the tank that'll be for the turret probably turret ring more filtration gear really nice casting got to say Forge World you gave me a good one look how long the barrel is it's a beast it's all in one which is really good my coaxial stubber needs a bit of hot water to straighten it out but not the end of the world if I compare it to the longest turret we have on the actual plastic tank like twice the length it's just beastly it's really cool so there we go yep yeah, a bit of hot water as I said we're gonna need to sort out that stubber we're not mucking about on this one you're not having a heavy bolt oh no you are having the choice You've got your heavy bolter in its weather case. Or you've got last cannon. I'm going to have a last cannon on this. It's a tank. It's a beast of a tank. It's going to be taking out other tanks. Let's get the last cannon on for a bit of extra power. If it gets swarmed with infantry, the guy can get on the heavy stubber. The exhausts. Very nice. Okay, again. More little breathing or filtration equipment there. And then we have the good old death core trench rails to stop the tank from falling into any ditches. And that's it. You get quite a bit extra to be fair, which is alright. So Lehman Russ MBT main battle tank is £35 from Games Workshop. Not a huge amount compared to other vehicles they do, but now you only get those two plastic frames in it. You don't get that extra frame, which to me is what you really need to make your tank stand out. Let you guys think whether that's worth it or not. And the Death Court of Krieg Mars Alpha Pattern Lemon Russ Vanquisher is £67 from Forge World. So, almost double the price of the plastic kit you get the extra frame with the commander and stubber and all those sort of bits and pieces in now normally they're about 10 or 12 quid from games workshop so that would make it you know 35 quid 47 quid so on top of that then you've got this bigger resin body so your tanks even bigger and more impressive the turret all the extra goodies, the death core chap. I was under the impression there were two commanders, but there isn't, there's one. His stubber in the death core style and all the breathing filtration equipment. So, 67 quid. Oh, uh, and it's available on the website, which sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. To be fair, I'd be tempted, even if I was a normal guard player. To get the ones from Forge World because you just get so much more for your money. I know it's more money, but still, you know your tanks are going to be looking more impressive, beefier. You don't have to death core them. You can probably go on eBay and sell the death core specific bits off and and make a few quid back that way. I'm sure there are people out there that would love to have that tank commander figure for the Chimeras and all sorts of other bits and pieces. So there we are, that is the two kits I've got, the Forge World one and the normal Games Workshop one. The differences between the two, what I think personally is better to go with, I know everyone's gaming on a budget, not everyone can afford Forge World, so yeah, fair play, just get the cheaper one if that's the case. It is an expensive hobby. 
that's it so what we will do is I'll get the normal cam set up now we'll get off the overhead cam and I will wrap the video up here we are now at the end of our video which was for the unboxing of the Lehman Russ main battle tank from Games Workshop and also the Forge World Death Court of Krieg Vanquisher variant as well I hope you enjoyed that video I hope you've got the differences between the two as I've said my thoughts on it really are if you're gonna have field in a tank company or, or whatever yeah probably pick up quite a few of these if you're only gonna have one in your army and you're really gonna to go to town get the one from Forge World for all the extra bits and pieces on it it's just so much bigger more glorious tank to put on the battlefield also if you game somewhere where Forge World kits and other bits and pieces aren't the norm it'll certainly be a discussion point amongst your gaming club or people you know nice to show it off and that's it I shall be doing a video soon on how I am going to paint these up I'm doing a little bit of a deathcore army it's going to be a lot of drab greys and things for the vehicles I'm also going to do a video on how I paint my deathcore of Krieg they are in very realistic military colours so there'll be a video coming up on that shortly as well I'm going to do a video on pin washing while I've got these tanks or very basic pin washing to do as well a little couple of minute job and that's it really that's what's heading up as I said I hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe on Facebook I'm amazed I've got like 90 subscribers thank you so much to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe to me in my little old man cave I also have a mini model makes Facebook page which sometimes I'll post things on or work I'm doing I don't do videos on everything I do hobby wise because I don't think there'll be the market for it or there's amazing videos already on that that you could look at elsewhere I recently painted the Archeon I don't know if you can see him behind in the cupboard I didn't do a video on that because it, it takes all my concentration just painting it never mind doing a video on top but that's it for now really any of my subscribers please shout out to me if you want to see anything painted up or any thoughts on anything I'll try and do a video for that I would very much like to do things for my subscribers um, give me ideas give me ideas of what's popular at the minute I probably might do some Tau things in future my Tau couple of Tau videos I've done seem really popular so I might paint up some Tau that is it as i said i hope you enjoyed this video please stay safe in lockdown everybody and please like subscribe and share spread the word bye for now take care